Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, I'm here. Scoot it, chickies. I'm here at the house in Ghana. And I was looking for eggs. I keep looking over here and I've never seen an egg in the new box yet. That was the first egg, guys. And I had to turn the camera on and show it to you guys. So there's no egg in there. No other egg yet. But that was the first one. And the chickies are feeling better. They're feeling a lot better. You hear that? They're still a little congested. They laid an egg over there. They laid an egg at the gate. And there was one egg over there. So let's check over here. God bless you, Chicky. Let's check over here. I do not see any eggs over here. So this is a, a chicky update. See how they do, guys. Sometimes they used to make me think they were dead. But they're just spreading out. Spreading out. Getting warm or cool. I don't know what they're doing. They're just relaxing, I guess. I got an egg back there. and I don't miss any. I still have to get down here and change the sawdust. There's an egg. Let's see, it's kind of hard, guys, to hold the thing and pick the egg. Come on, Chicky. Thank you very much. And hold the camera. Whoa. Good thing they were de-beaked, because they sure like pecking at me. And that's what our mentor said. I guess especially first-timers. Let's see, no eggs. Okay, so I got four now. I mean, three. I got three now. I had four this morning. And then um, earlier I picked up a bunch. So I think I picked up 14. Let me switch hands, guys, because I'm not used to holding the phone with that hand and video. They are eating, guys. They're eating, and they're drinking a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's that white one over there making all that noise <laughs> we're just going to take a sweep through down here and see if we find any more eggs but the good news is is that they're eating they're drinking yep they're laying i'm gonna have to pick some of this sawdust up so that's what happens they scoot it down here and it ends up getting um gathered together over here which is fine as long as they don't start laying over here all the time that would be great but I see now one laid in the new box so that was perfect that's what we want they're feeling a lot better they're feeling a lot better uh-huh so we're thankful for that these ladies over here are doing well they're doing well, but they're still, they're getting the same medicine routine as these over here for a preventative measure. Yep. So that's what's going on with the chicky chicks. Well, there you have it. I wonder if she laid. Let's go check and see if she laid an egg. <laughs> Let's go see if she laid one over there. So the recommendation from our mentor was that this should have been slanted the the top of the the boxes should have been slanted so they can't get up there. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I don't see another egg over here. 
I don't know. I didn't see which box that one came out of. But we got two up here now, so maybe they're going to be laying. <laughs> Sniffing around. Scratching around. Whatever they're doing. <laughs> hey, Tiki. Looks like that one's going to lay. I'm not going to bother you, Missy. This one might be getting ready, too. I'm not going to bother them. So, we're thankful to God. We did not lose any more birds. So, we're very thankful. Sometimes things like that could happen and somebody could lose their whole, whole flap. But we didn't lose... Our whole flock, we lost two. Still sad. Still sad. You don't want to see any of the ladies not make it. They're getting big, too. So we're expecting the egg production to really go up. I want to show you guys also. Um, we're going to come in the pen. I want to show you guys what happened today. So we had somebody come and they bought all the eggs they bought all the eggs i actually added four eggs into the crates that were here and we um mixed up the sizes to make another crate so it was 13 crates of eggs we sold our first egg sale yep so let's see what we got so if we had four more here, that would be um, what we got. If we had four more added to this, that would be what, actually five because one was broken. So that would be 22. So, so far we've gotten 22 eggs. These are from the ladies over there. Uh-huh. So far, we got 22 eggs today, guys. So they're really, really doing better. They're really, really doing better. At one point, we had only 15 or 17 eggs. Um, yeah, so they're really getting back. They're feeling better. They're doing better. Um, we'll go out here and we'll take a little peeky at the rest of the animals. Oh, we're doing well. We'll see what a blessing it is. And my husband goes to the farm. Nana's my assistant, helping me keep these guys out of here. He, he helped a lot today with emptying the truck. But my husband wasn't feeling too well. Um, yeah, he has a little cold or something. I think he's overworked himself. And, um, yeah. Yep. Yesterday he bought food for him and the manager and the workers. But there were a couple extra workers that worked at the farm. So him and the manager gave up their food to the, the extra workers. So they didn't actually, they ate a small piece of bread that my husband had left what I sent him in the morning. So they didn't get to eat yesterday and they worked very, very hard. So I don't know. And then since we've been here, uh, this is uh, the middle of August. So it's going on almost 11 months, guys. The end of September will be one year since we came. We thought we were coming and we would rest. It hasn't happened. We've been hitting the ground running. Um, yeah, we've been hitting the ground running since we got here. So really there's a couple um, that's coming to stay near us um, until they build their house. And they really made a wise decision, a very wise decision about taking a vacation before they came. We were hitting the ground, hitting it hard when we were um, ready to come. 
we did not want to take the money and time for the vacation. Um, my husband worked right up until a couple of days before we left. And um, I worked until um, the time came that I needed to stop so I could be able to get my um, 401k and everything and get that to be able to bring it with us. And, um, yeah, we didn't really use the money. We knew we had a lot to do when we came. We knew we would put a lot into the farm and into this um, building our mini farm. So we were trying to save everything we could. And um, it was a lot of logistics, getting our containers shipped and getting our bags packed and our tickets and all that kind of good stuff. So we did not um, spend money or take time for the vacation. And I think we really should have in hindsight. So hopefully we'll get to do an interview. They have a channel. Hopefully we'll get to do an interview with them and introduce you guys to them and ask them some questions about their move here and their journey. Because everybody's journey is different, guys everybody's journey is different so what i want to show you quick is the food from the farm so they've already had a lot today guys they've had about the equivalent of two and a half bags of this food yep and they've they've eaten it all they've eaten every bit of it even the birds were eating it and then the corn we're blessed to be able to get corn from the farm to feed our animals too so um i wanted to show you one more thing and i'll go back to what i was saying here's mama chicken she is laying on the turkey eggs guys she's been faithful to lay on those turkey eggs so we're thanking god for that um and they're starting to get up in these pens here and of course we will check out our baby Dalmatian. Oh, she she got up out of there. Huh. That might I don't think that was her that pooped in there. I don't know who pooped in there, but their poop is a little soft. So we'll have to keep our eye on it. I don't or was it her? Oh, it was her guys. Look at her butt. Okay, we're gonna have to get somebody here to take care of that. She's not feeling well. So when we see that with one of our bigger animals, um, somebody comes, we have medication and they give her an injection. We're not really, um, I'm especially not, but my husband is trying to get familiar with where to give what injection and that kind of stuff, but he's not there. So we bring the professional in. So baby Dalmatian's not feeling well. Okay, so that must have been her poop in there. We'll have to get that cleaned out. And we'll get somebody here um, as soon as possible to come and take care of her this afternoon. So anyway, back to what I was saying. It's not about follow me or follow that person on this journey. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's circumstances are different. And everybody finds out different information. That's why I encourage everybody to share and document their journeys. So if there is somebody coming and they're doing YouTube, it's best for us to collaborate together and share our journeys. And I want to share their channel with you. I want you guys to be able to follow them too and glean information from them. Um, yeah, as to how it, it was for them, what they chose to do. You know, these are the questions we can ask. So I'll have to speak with them and see if we can, when they arrive here, um, if we can have them on the channel here and try to get some information that might help you guys and then you guys um 
go over to their channel and follow their channel and see their journey. They're going to be building, so I'm sure they're going to share their process live as they're building. So we'll, um, we'll talk to them and we'll get some information, see if we can glean from each other. We've been sharing with them the things we know. Um, we've been, you know, answering their questions. And if we don't know the answer, we um, contact somebody who does and then get back to them. Because that's what it's all about, guys. That's how you can go further faster. That's how you can, if you don't know anybody here, that's how you can be able to come and be able to succeed. Because we're sharing information. We're helping you along the way. So that's what... Um, what I wanted to encourage you guys with, if you're planning on, even if you're coming on vacation, because vacation's a little different than moving. So, you know, share your journey. Share your journey. You'll be thankful. And if for nothing else, you'll have the memories to look back on. You will have um, documentation for your children, grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, because I don't think uh, YouTube is going anywhere. So the documentation will be there for people to see. And your family members and memories and everything like that. It's a very unique platform and, and I'm very thankful. So we were um, going over we met somebody at the Yellow House today, and we went over there to see how things are going, check it out. So we took a little walk down there. We came back here. It's starting, the weather's starting to change. It's starting to get a little bit warm now. Um, yeah, so we've been doing things. We got the eggs sold. We thank God for that. And our chickies are getting better, so we thank God for that. Tomorrow's possibly another farm day for my husband. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but um, it might be tomorrow. And then you guys have seen, at the time I'm videoing this, I uploaded today one of our flashback videos, guys. So I'm thankful for that. I was able to do that. I'm going to try to keep on doing that and give you guys the flashback so you can see. Um, you can take note of how it looks down here. And you guys will see how it looked when we first came, when we first were building this wall. I mean, there's a lot of footage I have that I'm going to share with you guys. So stay tuned to the channel. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm still going to try. I'm not going to make all the videos as long as I made them. But I guess I, I just enjoy chatting with you guys. I enjoy sharing information. Um, so you guys just, if you watch through or you just play it and listen, you know, as things come to my mind, as I'm talking with you guys, I share the things that um, maybe I forgot or maybe I didn't think about. So, yeah, sometimes with those longer videos, it gets me thinking a little bit more and able to share things with you that I might not have thought about. In the future, I'm hoping to script the videos a little bit so I can stay focused and give you guys information that will be easier for you to find on the channel rather than having to um, listen to a long video and pick pieces up here and there. But I'm not there yet. I just really, really want to share this journey with you. I want to get the information out, and I want to encourage you. Start making your plan, guys. Start making your plan. Come and visit. If you do nothing else, come and visit. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, don't let the days keep passing, guys. Don't keep wishing your life away. 
like I, I answered somebody in the comments, you know, this is a hectic life. It is busy. We chose that. We put our hands into a lot of different things when we got here. But we're not getting any younger. We're not getting any younger. And um, we want to get things situated so that we have income, multiple streams of income coming in. And um, we can sustain ourselves, sustain the farms, sustain the farm workers um, for the work they do. We can provide for them, provide for um, our household and our animals and everything else. So that's why we hit the ground running so hard. That's why we ran hard right before we came. And um, God has been faithful. He has provided along the way. We did our part, and he has definitely come through. And we're thankful to God for that. You guys can do it, too. There's plenty of opportunity here. Plenty. Plenty. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Let me know in the comments if you're making your plans. And, um... Yeah, let me know if you'd like to see an interview with the couple I was talking about. Hopefully we can set that up and get an interview with them. If that's something you guys would enjoy, I think you would benefit from it. All right, guys. Until next time, God bless you.